I want to get straight A+. Plus. I want to get full flat. I want to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. I want to be a millionaire. These are the common answers when I ask my friends or my students the question, what is your goal? But most of the time, the answer that I got was, I don't have any goal. I have students who told me how terrible they felt when they failed to achieve their goals last year. I also have friends who told me that they never really follow through the goals that they have set. I can totally understand that because I experienced that too. When I was in my secondary school, sometimes in the beginning of the year, I would feel fresh and I'll post status like new year, new me, setting up plans and goals that I would achieve in that particular year. But throughout the year, I would really never go back and look at my goals again. And at the end of the year, I noticed that I actually didn't achieve anything. So at that moment, I thought that goals are just rigid framework and they were actually pretty useless. So I didn't set goals already afterwards. However, I was dead wrong. My main problem was that I never created a goal that was effective for me and the inability to create a proper goal is the main culprit. As cliche as it sounds, proper goal setting is extremely important in achieving success. This is evidence-based. Let's take for example, this paper that was published in year 2016 showed that students who had proper goal setting technique perform better than students who did not have. This is another meta-analysis that was done in year 2011 showed that proper goal setting technique contributed to better group performance. I understand that in order for me to achieve my goals, the first thing is I must know how to properly set up my goals. I am Dr. Stephen Lee. In this video, I will share with you the method that I use to properly set my goals, which helps me significantly in my personal development, business, and academic performance. So without further ado, let's get started. In my personal opinion, setting goals without incorporating action plan is a waste of time. While goals are fixated in the future, let it be long-term goal, mid-term goal, or short-term goal, incorporating action plan in your goals will help you to keep yourself grounded as well as present in the moment. In order for you to achieve maximum results and stay in alignment with your values, your goals should accompany by action plans. These action plans are arising from a growth mindset and they set a standard for how you live and act regardless of at the end of the day you achieve your goals or not. There are many goal setting techniques out there but the one that I find really useful for me is the SMART technique. Let me break it down for you before I do further explanation. S stands for specific, M stands for measurable, A stands for actionable, R stands for realistic, and T stands for time bounded. Let's take for example, sometimes I will ask my students, what is your goal? Some of them will answer, I want to get straight A+, plus. I want to get 4 flat, I want to get 4 A star. You see, these goals are fantastic, but they are too vague as there is no associated action plans in how to achieve them. For example, Stephen is weak in mathematics and he knows that this will hinder him from getting good results in examination. So instead of setting the goal as, I want to get straight A+, he can try to set it this way. I will do 30 mathematics questions every day. Do you see the difference between these two goals? When he say 
I will do 30 mathematics questions every day. This is actually very specific because you see the action inside and you have the measurement as well as it is also time bounded. In this way, he can be focused and not get diverted very easily. Obviously, this is just an example and you can take this to tailor to your own goal. I am now trying to do my first specialty paper called the MRCP Part 1. Instead of saying, I want to be an internal physician, I will set my goal in this way. I must do 50 MRCP questions every day. Whether at the end of the day I make it or not, but I am moving towards my goal every day. And I understand slowly but surely. In addition, a properly set goal should also be realistic. Take for example, some students thought that by burning the midnight oil or by studying in a prolonged period of time from morning till night, they will be able to score good results. Or take for example, let's say a medical student wants to improve in communication skill and say, I want to clock 50 patients in the ward every day. See, these goals are fantastic, but they are quite unattainable. To me, quality is more important than quantity. Persistence is the key. There's no point for you to set up difficult goals and at the end of the day, not achieving them. So setting up goals that take small steps but necessary actions are important in order for you to push your confidence and for you to move towards your final bigger purpose. A 2015 study by the psychologist Gail Matthews showed that people who wrote down their goals were 33% more successful in achieving them than those people who formulated the outcomes in their heads. For people who have successfully set their goal in the right way, but lost track in the journey, I would recommend to use the app Reminder in your cell phone. Write down your goals or your daily tasks in the Reminder app so that it reminds you it's time for you to get moving and get going. This is what I've been practicing all this while as well. I hope that you learned about the importance and techniques on proper goal setting in this video. If this is my first video that you're watching, I do recommend that you watch my previous video as well. So I am Dr. Stephen Lee. I'll be posting weekly on my channel uh, discussing about study techniques, biology related as well as medical related videos. If you're interested in this content, do subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification. So thank you so much. I'll see you again next time.